you I'm cleaning up my uh, room. David Dobrik. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. You're the reason why people think, should I do YouTube or should I go to college? You're the person that makes me think about my future and wondering if I should continue doing YouTube or should I actually become something and go to college. I dedicated my life to YouTube. I'm, I got a YouTube channel right now with nine subscribers. And I'm grateful for that. But what you did, but what you did, is unforgivable. You constantly do these things to people and play it off as a joke. That smile people see covers up lies. The things people see on the outside doesn't cover up what happens in reality. Now, on circus, on common cir circumstances, I'm sorry. I would say your mother should have swallowed and your conscience shouldn't breathe. But that would be too harsh on somebody. But knowing you, I looked up to you. And you just, mm, my mom watched these videos, so I can't say that. But what you did is downright unforgivable. You blame, you blame the person you hurt on themselves. And you just cover up things that you, that you don't want to get framed for. There are a lot of, I know a lot of people are backlashing at you, but I honestly know why. Because you're the per you're the kind of person that doesn't deserve to be have their fame. Now, yes, you did. You worked hard. You worked deeply for what you did. But what had that cost you? Tell me what. I tell a lot. When I think about my YouTube channel, I think, alright, alright, you got two great partners, amazing partners. I have Connor and Steven. When they joined, I didn't force them. I asked them, I was like, hey, you're a cool dude. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Trying to make a video here. Alright, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not going to have coffee, but. But yeah, when Steven and Connor asked I didn't, first off, well, I asked them if they wanted to join. I said, do you want, do you want to be a part? If they said no, I would have been, I would have been cool with it. Connors was still going to be my best friend, and I still would have been friends with, uh, I would still been friends with Steven. But you, you take granted, you take granted of your kid, of your friends. You force them to do stuff. Jason. If you if you somehow stumbled upon this, be your own be your own you. Don't let some twenty six, seven, or eight year old decide your life. You are a grown man with two kids. I don't know what happened with you and Trisha. I don't, cause that's the reality of YouTube. When stuff goes bad, we block it out of the world, so the people that watch our videos don't see it. There are a lot of things that go on in my house. I don't post, you know, I don't just pick up the camera and just, no. And I, res I respected David for that. Not because he was a, not because he was a, behind, a douche behind cameras. It was because he never let the bad things get to him. I don't care about the fame of this video. The thing I care about is people's health. I love everybody in the world. Me, I care about every single human. Every time I see a movie, I, I cry because I don't like to see I don't care how real or fake these are. I cried and come from to it. Ooh, way died. What's good? <laughs> but don't, don't do that, man. Jeff was one of the people that helped you begin your YouTube channel. And this is how you treat him? This is why every time, every, I, my uncle, y'all might not know him, you might do. His name is Johnny. Every time, every time I see, every, I, every time I see him, I want to, I want to tell him, don't let money get to you. Don't let the fame that you have get in your head. You want to know why? Because it starts all of this, everything that you're going through, David, is a sign. A sign that what you're doing behind cameras is a good. It's a sign that. That you should look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I doing the right thing? 
Am I? Look. As, when you were you, when you, I don't. I haven't been on here so too long. And all, and all for you, for all you David Dobrik friends, I don't care about what you put in my comments. You could, you could call me a hypocrite. You could call me a sleaze bag. You could call me whatever you want. I'm not building up drama. I'm defending the sides of people that have been hurt in the past. I'm on the side of people that have been hurt by dickwads like a sober clean good YouTuber. When I think about YouTube, I think about people like Jeff Sepp, the guy, Markiplier, PewDiePie. They don't let fame get to them. You see, Jeff, he's... Jeff Sepp, guy's the entrepreneur. He makes his... He, he has his own coffee. That man grinds on a daily basis. He don't let riches get to his head. That man look like a fool. He, he's the... He's the infiguration of white people. Of a white person. Of a, of a typical white person in, in a... In a movie. And I can name black YouTubers, but those the, uh, the black YouTubers that that mess with black YouTubers like me, Corey Kitchen, uh, the Prince family, other people like that. There's a video coming about about YouTubers that, that we hate soon, probably tomorrow. But those are the kind of people that I hate. People like David Dobrik, CJ, so cool. A lot, I'm not, um, Pretty Boy Fredo. I hate people like that. Not just because I don't care if they go in my comments and start hating on me. Because what they did behind cameras is bad. What they've done behind cameras isn't a good thing. And I'm, I'm a man of Christ. So, knowing that I have the hand of God right here on my shoulder tells me everything. My grandma passed away. My grandma passed away in January 2020. The worst day in my family's life. I wish, I, 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 when I tell you, I wish, I wish I could talk to my grandma one more time. But if I did, I would have said sorry for not helping the world. Because a sleaze bats like you, you make us, you make YouTubers, you make everybody who look like a bad person. You didn't even have the audacity to help your friend in a time of need sitting on his deathbed. You're the kind of people that sickens me, David Dobrik. I hope the lawsuit that comes to you makes you think about what you've done in the past and present. And I hope it, I hope it configures you in the future. I'm a smart boy. See this? Hold up. I added something to my new, to my uh, to the uh, go, to the uh, YouTube go wall I have right here, right here. It's some, it's some that, it's something that I have. I wanna. He, he's the reason for this. He's the reason. Georgia State, that's where I want to go. He's the reason for this. He's, he's, he's making me think, hmm. Oh, this is, this is something for the summer, y'all. So, y'all get ready for that. But your boy gonna have to, but your boy gonna have to get this. He's not doing too good in class right now. So, and when I get, hold on. Where my finger? Okay, when I get this, a 2.5 GPA, then we can talk, but not right now. But, other than that, I chose vlogging because... It was the e because it, I could sh I could show I don't care what goes if something happens when the camera's on I keep the camera on but when it gets when it gets too serious I cut it off but I will stick beside my family I stick beside people that I care about God 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 hold up y'all y'all. Doing something for my grandma. But yeah, when I pick this up, I don't think about my future. I think about what I love. I think about what I want to do. My my uncle helped me throughout everything. I don't take him for granted. If I get paid, I'm giving him half of my money. Because he's the one, he's the one that brought me into this. He's the person that got me into this. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't even see the blog team right now who got new logo coming soon though. He wouldn't, you wouldn't even see this camera. I wouldn't even have this camera if it wasn't for the people in my life. You take granted, you take granted for people that's in your life, David Dumper. You're the reason why people, you're the reason why people wake up and regret about what they've done in their past. But you don't think about nothing. You get shows on Discovery Channel when you don't even think about what you did. Now do you? No. 
You're the kind of person that makes me sick. As I'm editing this video, I'm going to think about what I've done in my past. And I'm going to try. And I'm going to try to fix my, make up for my past. Because there are a lot of things that I've gone through this year and last year in 2020. My best friend almost killed himself. I was, I was giving up on my YouTube channel. My grandma just passed away. But I keep this smile on my face. Not because of content. Because I want to keep this smile on my face. When you see this gap, you, you see joy. You see a man that saved his best friend from going, going to see the man above. You see the, when you see this smile, you see my grandmother. You see the person that brought me up through half of my life. When you see this smile, when you hear my laugh, you hear a person that's actually happy. Yeah, I've got demons. We all have demons. But you, sir, you're the epitome of a, of a bad person. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please go down below. I'm going to stop saying that because so many YouTubers say it. <laughs> First off, go, please, please go down below and click the... Click the, click the like button. Um, click the subscribe button if you want. I don't, I don't really care. I'm going. There's a lot of things going through my mind right now. There are things there. See this? There's a fan behind me, by the way. But yeah. I made this go off because of YouTube. And I, I, every, time I see, every time I see a paper, every time I see the paper rip, I think about, hmm, is this a sign? Is this, is this a sign that God is telling me that I'm not going to do it? No. That's just the devil trying to get in my life. But I keep this wall up. I don't take it down just because I see it ripping. That shows me that I'm breaking, I'm breaking through. That I'm breaking through everything I'm trying to do. I don't know what video. I don't care what video. I just love what video I upload. When I recruited Steven and Connor, it was the happiest day of my life. It showed me that I actually, that I actually love, that I actually have people by me. When I hit 400, when I hit 400 views, it blew my mind. It showed me that people actually watch my videos. People actually like my content. When I got subscribers, for the nine of you that's watching, thank you. We just hit nine. We just had nine fault, nine subscribers. And that's way better than what I talked back in the past. I, I congratulated myself for two subscribers. And I still thank God for it. So, David Dobrik, if you somehow stumbled upon this video, I hope you think about what you've done in the past. And I hope it affects your future. But, yeah, as I was saying, please go down below, smash that like button, make sure you do subscribe. For more content every single day. I will be having a new schedule. Fridays. Once each week. Fridays or Saturdays. Going with the flow. We'll be coming to uh, YouTube soon. So. Y'all keep. Y'all. Y'all get going for that. So. Um. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. Probably coming out tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for no subscribers for 400 views and I'll see y'all y'all in the next video peace out y'all bye